today we'll see what is SPI protocol. There are two configurations of SPI protocol. Figure one shows the single master, single slave, and figure two shows the single master, multiple slaves. In figure one, microcontroller is a master device, and E square prom is a slave device. The master device is connected with the slave device using four different lines. In figure two, there is a single SPI master and three SPI slave devices. A common clock is shared with all the slave devices and there is an independent slave select line for each of the slave device. Applications of SPI protocol. It is used in embedded systems to communicate with the sensors, displays and other peripherals. SPI protocol is used in industrial automation embedded systems, different consumer electronics devices such as smartphone, tablets, laptops, medical devices and military equipments. SPI protocol is developed by the Motorola. SPI is an acronym for Serial Peripheral Interface and it supports the data transfer rate up to 10 Mbps. SPI is a master-slave protocol. Only the master device controls the clock. All the slave devices are controlled by the clock which is controlled by the master device. SPI is a data exchange protocol. It allows 8 bits of data to be transmitted and received simultaneously, which means it supports a full duplex communication. Start or stop bits are not required in SPI protocol. SPI is a synchronous protocol because it uses the common clock between the master and slave device. Master device provides the clock signal for synchronization and the clock signal controls transferring, reading, writing to slave device and changing of data. The transmitting and receiving devices must be synchronized so that the receiving device can sample the signal at the same time intervals used by the transmitting device. Signals or the pins. There are four signals used in SPI protocol. Master in, slave out, also called SDI. It provides the path to bring the data into the chip one bit at a time. Master out slave in, also called SDO, provides the path to bring the data out of the chip one bit at a time. Then clock, it is used to synchronize the transfer of data one bit at a time. And slave select or chip select, it is a actual low signal. And when the signal goes low, the SPI slave devices will listen to the clock and data signal from the SPI master device. Slave device selection by master device. In SPI protocol, there is SPI master and there are slave devices. So how does a SPI master communicates with the slave device? For that, the SPI master uses the slave select line. As shown in waveform, the chip select or slave select line, it is low. Once the slave select line is low, after that, the SPI master start communicating with the SPI slave devices. In SPI protocol, the data typically changes during the rising or falling age of the clock. As shown in figure, the data on the SDO line changes during the falling age of the clock, while the data is sampled on SDI line at the rising age of the clock. The SPI master and SPI slave devices consist of a shift register as shown in the figure by using the combination of shift register and buffer register the master and slave devices communicate with each other usually in serial communication the msb bit is transmitted first finally we'll conclude our discussion with a comparison of spi and i2c protocol spi stand for serial peripheral interface while I2C is inter-integrated circuit. SPI uses four lines and I2C uses two lines. SPI uses slave select or chip select lines for addressing and I2C uses chip addressing. Start and stop bits are not required in SPI protocol. Start and stop bits are required in I2C protocol. Both the protocols are master slave protocol. SPI is a full duplex communication and I2C is a half duplex communication. SPI supports data transfer rate up to 10 Mbps. There are four 
data transfer rate mode in I2C protocol. In standard mode, it supports the data transfer rate up to 100 kbps. In fast mode, up to 400 kbps. In fast mode plus, up to 1 mbps. In high speed mode, I2C protocol supports the data transfer rate up to 3.4 megabits per second. So this was all about SPI protocol. Thank you everyone.